Hi, I'm Scott Hinky, owner and founder of OnSite Consulting, a team of non-geeky guys who know how to communicate. We're here to help the technologically challenged of Earth with all their technology needs. Let's get started. Hey, if you're like me, you've probably gotten a lot of emails recently about joining a Zoom meeting. Well, a month ago, people didn't even know what Zoom was, but now it's a global phenomenon because you could have up to 100 people meeting at the same meeting at the same time using one of four pieces of equipment, either a desktop, laptop, tablet, or a smartphone. If you have a flip phone, you might as well stop this video right now because one, you can't be looking at this video on a smartphone, and two, you need one of those four pieces to be a part of the meeting. So go find somebody with one of those four. But anyway, let's talk about desktops first. So desktops have a separate monitor like this. Now, 90% of monitors do not have a camera in it. We have a couple that do, but most of them do not. It would be right here at the top of the monitor, right in the middle, there'd be a little dot that shows you the camera for this monitor. So these don't have a monitor attached. You'd have to go buy a webcam for about 30 or 40 bucks from the store, attach it, configure it to your program, and so forth. Now these monitors here have a camera on top. That's because these aren't just monitors. These are called all-in-one computers. The whole computer is in this piece of equipment right here, so you don't have a lot of cables and stuff. So this one's got a camera right there, and everything's built into the screen. Uh, and when the camera's on, like this one, there's a green light on there. So you can tell when the camera's running, and when it's not by that green light. Now, all of Mac products have a built-in camera for the past 20 years. So if you look right in the middle, there's a little dot right there, that's your camera. Whether it's this or a MacBook has one. Uh, let's look at this. This is actually a tablet. This tablet comes apart, so watch. The screen actually comes apart from the bottom half because this is the computer, and that's just the keyboard that attaches to it. But when the camera's on, you have that little blue light knowing that. Windows tablets have it in the middle, and iPads have it this way, and the camera's at the top. So you'll see one of those on that, those as well. And remember that you're looking this way, because it's the front camera, not the back camera. Don't start it, and then turn around like this and talk to the back of the tablet. You want to go like this, and you should be able to see yourself, and that's what other people see on their computers as well. Now, all of our laptops, probably 90% of them, have the webcam built into them. Okay, so they're right here at the top. You'll see the little dot, like we saw before, on those all-in-one computers. And whenever it's on, you know, you'll see the person in the front. Now, we had a guy a couple weeks ago, couldn't get into a Zoom meeting. And what happened, he took it to two other IT companies before he brought it to us. And uh, th they couldn't get the camera to work. It's because these computers have a slider right there in front of the camera. And when you slide that, that turns, it, put, it blocks the camera. Okay, So make sure to look for that. Not every computer has one of those. A lot of people are paranoid that people are looking at them through the camera. First, you'd have a light on there if the camera was recording and going to somebody. Um, also, unless it's some massive virus, there's no way someone's going to see you through your camera. Okay, So just be looking for that right there. Now, the final way is that you could do it with your smartphone. So on a smartphone, you can just turn it on, and you'll have your camera working. It will f use the front camera, but see, right now I'm facing the other way, using the back camera, so you want to flip it around. So you can see yourself, right? Now I was in a meeting the other day for two hours, and after the guy started the meeting, he put his phone onto the table like that. So for two hours, we were looking at the ceiling fan above him for two straight hours. So be careful of that. Also, people get in the habit of during the meetings, you know, if you're going to walk away from your meeting, you could hold your phone like this, you know, and go downstairs or get something to drink or whatever. Be careful not to go to the bathroom while you have your phone on. This particular person uh, forgot about the camera, and I guess, and so he's walking around his house like this. With the camera looking down like this, remember, the camera is looking forward. And during the meeting, we were not looking at his face. So make sure that you take your phone and you just prop it up somewhere like this, and you can have a meeting. Really, it's for people on the other side to know you haven't fallen asleep during the meeting if you want to contribute. There is some ways to turn on and off your microphone, so that way if you're shuffling papers like this, in front of it, everybody in the entire meeting doesn't hear you shuffling your papers. But hey, I'm going to show you a close-up of how to install Zoom on your computer and uh, get it working both on your computer and your phone. So let's take a look. Okay, now we're going to show you how to get to it on your computer. Now we're going to use a Windows 10 computer. You may have a Mac or you may have a phone, but we're going to use Windows 10. And you've got these different browsers on here. This one's Chrome and this one is Edge. It, uh, they changed the uh, uh, branding, basically, for Edge. It used to be a big blue E for Internet Explorer. Uh, 
And Edge is not the most reliable browser, so that's why I think they're just rebranding themselves and made it a little wave like this. But I'm going to go ahead and use Chrome because I like Chrome. So we're going to open that up. And again, it doesn't matter if you have a Mac or a PC. It's going to be something like this. And you're going to go zoom.us. Okay. Once you do that, you've got a couple options at the top. The big blue one is the one they want you to push to sign up. But you don't really need to sign up. You can sign in if you've already signed up, but you don't need to do that. You could host a meeting, but that's if you're the one who's organizing it. One who's called the meeting is going to uh, connect all the people and send them invitations, so you're probably not going to do that. You're just going to go over here to where it says, Join a Meeting. And right here, you know, it's got a lot of stuff that you could read, but really you're just going to type in the number that somebody gave you. So I'm going to type in 294 So basically that's my personal Zoom account. So, and I'm, I'm running a meeting somewhere else, so I'm going to hit that button. Now the first time you get it, it's going to have you download a small program to make everything work a little bit better. So see the giant orange arrow? That's what it's going to have you click on. If you're in a different browser, it may be somewhere else, like a Mac will put it up on the bottom right hand corner, and Firefox will put it up here next to an arrow. Things are a little bit different, but when you see the file, it starts with the word Zoom. You're going to click on it. And it's going to ask me to, uh, if, if I give permission to install, your screen I think goes blank for a second, but hold on. So it's installing a program on your computer. You don't have to do anything while it's doing this. Oh, you should make yourself presentable, by the way, because they are going to see you on the camera in a few seconds. So make sure, comb your hair, brush your teeth, make sure there's nothing uh, stuck between your teeth. And um, we have had Zoom meetings where somebody forgot they were in a Zoom meeting and had no shirt on. Thankfully, it was a man. But, um, ah, something's wrong. I'll try the same thing again. Okay, here we go. Like I said, Zoom's one of the biggest online companies in the world right now because of what's happening. So their network may be a little bit tied up. Okay, it's going to join my meeting number that I typed in a second ago. And... Hopefully, it will start right here. Oh, it's going to ask you your name. So it takes the name off of the computer that you have right now. You could put in whatever your name is. Uh, you could put Bob. Let's just put Bob. Okay, I'm going to not remember that because my name's not Bob. Okay, then it's going to start this. Now, I've moved a couple screens off a little bit to make it a little bit larger, but it says Join with Audio. So this is giving your computer permission to use your microphone. Okay, and I'm going to do this automatically join with audio whenever I join a meeting. It makes sense. You're just giving it permission to access your microphone. So then it says you are using the computer audio. Okay, now let me move this screen down. Um, I should have made this a little bit better. So I have connected. So my name is at the top, okay, and I don't think she could see me right now because. Um, at the bottom here, look, as you move your mouse, sometimes this screen pops up at the bottom. I have not started my video, so it does not automatically start your video until you give it permission. So here, over here on the mute, you can see um, the microphone going up and down as I speak. You can hear her typing, so her microphone is on. But over here, start video starts my video on my side. Oh, and there's Bob at the top. Okay, so um, hopefully... Not all meetings are like this, but uh, if you have more than one person, they're going to be all across the top of the screen, okay? And those will be at the top, and then if you ever need to mute it, what you're going to do is go down here to the bottom and push the mute button. It's very common that you should do that. See the little um, symbol right now on my face? It says Bob's microphone is muted. That's because, um, like right now, as she's typing, we could hear her keyboard. And when you get 10 or 20 or 100 people in the room... You're not going to be able to um, concentrate with all that noise going on in the background. So you want to make sure to mute it when nothing's going, uh, nothing's happening. So you would unmute it when you have something important to say to the person on the other side, like, please stop being silly on the national video, and then you could turn off the mute. If you need to stop the video, you're going to push this button. So the uh, that, in case you do have something in your teeth or um, something like that where you don't want them to see you, this is what they're going to see. Bob and no picture.
Okay, so we're going to turn it back on, and then Bob's going to appear at the top. When the meeting's over, the person on the other side will cancel their um, will cancel the meeting, and that way they won't uh, they'll end it. But if you just want to leave the meeting, like I want to leave this meeting, we're going to hit this button right now: leave meeting. Leave meeting. Great. So if you have any more questions, uh, you can watch the other video that we have on how to use the Zoom on an iPhone. If you have any questions, you can give us a call. Thanks. Have a great day.